What's going on H2 Army? Justin from H2O Plants and me and Honey here are going to show you how to split CO2 lines. Question I get often, so stay tuned. <laughs> So what's up guys, so we're going to be taking a look at some of these pieces here. Um, this is from the company, let's see if it says on there, uh, SMC Corporation. SMC uh, Corporation is the company that manufactures them. I buy them from Allied Electronics, I think the name of the company is. I'll link it down below. But basically when you split a CO2 line or why you would want to, let's cover that first. So why you would want to is you have two tanks that you want to run CO2 to or more. You can do uh, splitting through the regulator, which I'll show you right here. The regulator, um, essentially you could have uh, several different valves coming off of this. Rather than one CO2 line, you can say have six. Um, I think you could build your own or you could probably find them online if you, uh, if you wanted to do it from the regulator. That's all fine and all, and probably might work better than uh, my my current setup because I'm having some issues with actually what's going on here. Let me explain to you first, honey. Really, you're you're in my way right now. She's like in my lap. All right. So you put this T on the line. So you have your your uh, flow from the CO2 regulator here, then it splits off to these two areas right here. All right. So what you do is you put a speed control valve in. Um, and this one's here right now because I, I was trying to, to fix an issue that I was having But you don't need to put this here before the T you actually need to put this after the T wherever it tees off to your other CO2 lines uh, That go into your bubble counter. So here and excuse the mess We're still trying to set up something but here you have your bubble counter right now My CO2 is not on because I actually have to change out some things But basically you will put a inline control valve, which is this guy right here And it has this little open and close uh, twisty valve there. Basically that just adjusts the flow of the CO2. And why you're gonna want that, um, you're gonna wanna put that on every single line that you have to a uh, filter or bubble counter or wh whatever you have, because you wanna be able to regulate the flow individually per tank. So right now I have my CO2 uh, system off because I was having issues where I don't know if it's a broken valve or what, but I ran out of valves and I had a broken valve, I think, and just the flows to all the CO2, um, or the flow of all the CO2 to the different tanks was a complete mess. So uh, what I'm doing is I bought all new valves and these things aren't cheap. These are like $16 a pop. They're expensive as hell. So this is like $100 in valves here. Um, and just goes to show like this ain't cheap. It probably at this point, being that I've already bought a ton of valves, and this is my second time buying them. Uh, it probably would have been cheaper to just get a regulator that uh, does everything individually. But, I don't know. This is how I, I figured out how to do it, and this is the way I'm doing it. But if you can find a regulator with multiple zones, I would do it that way. So yeah, so you have a T-valve. You have an inline speed control on each output of the T-valve. And you could T this uh, several times. This is actually T'd. You can see here, there's a T there. That comes into here, T here. That goes to other tanks, and uh, or well, this goes to these two tanks, and then that line there goes out into the other two tanks, and then I have one also going into that tank over there, the 55. So, um, so yeah, that's how you do it all. If you guys have any more questions about CO2 stuff, feel free to leave the question below. Um, I'm gonna try this. Let's see what happens. Uh, if you leave a question and or comment, we're gonna choose one lucky person from this video to win a certain either gift certificate to the store, uh, fertilizer, root tabs, my S1 food, anything like that. Just leave a comment below, whether it's a question or a comment of anything. And uh, we'll choose one lucky person and it'll be announced in the next uh, next video. So it'll be on the outro. Uh, yeah guys, and I will see you next time. Later.